that's going on inside of us. Maybe not all the time, but enough. It's very elusive. It's the chattering mind. And as long as there's justification in the chatter, the chatter's not seen for what it is. It's just propped up and fueled by the essence of our own beings. I will not say that the mind is your enemy. I would say the chatter in it is. Because to say your mind is the enemy, Jesus Christ, we got a problem. So it's not that. It's the thoughts. The more we identify with them, right? the more we pay attention to that and become aware of them, the less connected we are to that which no one can talk about, the source of life itself. We all want explanations to quell our fears. But the explanations are our fears. It's just adding to the problem. See, while we've been basically sitting in the bleachers watching life go down, We've missed the point that it's in us. Life is not out there. It's not happening. You're it. So what out there is going to really satisfy you? From birth, absolutely, we're taught to build the defense. Right? And we rely on it, absolutely. And when we begin to realize that the very thing we've been relying on is fear, it makes us afraid. It's really simple. It's very hard to slow down a chattering mind that's already in the grips of fear. <coughs> Once it's in the grips of fear, there's nothing you can do except for play it up. Make real bad choices, real bad decisions, out of desperation, of wanting to get that fear gone, out of trying to distract ourselves from the fear or just out of our sheer laziness of participating in our own lives. When we're in a relationship, if we're not really participating, what's really happening? So we hear this word thrown around, relationships, relationships. But no, there's just, you can't have them in fear. To say there's a bad relationship, no, 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 there's just two people afraid, or at least one, living with fear. Because the universe at large, let's just say the whole of this thing, you guys get what I'm talking about, right? Is emanating. Is it emanating fear? What is it, what, what does everyone seem to perceive who's seen it? Say it emanates us. Mm -hmm. Love. Say. If you're full of energy, that is love. Now we can discuss the delineations of, well, it depends on the energy. But remember, at least from my perspective, that's fear chasing itself needing to be able to not feel something. Because life itself, the, the, all of it is very intense, super intense. So we want to diminish that intensity. Talk, 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 talk to ourselves until, okay, uh, I feel grounded. Yeah, I've been grounded too, I didn't like it. I didn't get to go outside and get to do anything I wanted to do. We 
are energetic beings. We are creative by our very nature. Why are we consuming so much? You know, I, I, I wouldn't ask this, you know, I'm going to ask this perfection. I wouldn't normally. I ask people in Starbucks this question. So, you consume a lot. What do you provide? What are you giving back? I mean, I hear you. You're taking, 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 taking. What are you giving? That question scares the hell out of me. The first thing they do is come up with a nice, proper, pretty answer that's full of bullshit and hand it to you. And because we have to be polite, I buy it. And then not only do I buy it, I believe it's the truth. And I write books about it and I reinforce it. Right? Then I take this book and shove it in your hands. Now you reinforce it. And you hand it to him. Say, you're going to love it. You might not love it, but she's cute. So I'm going to read it. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you read it. And because you want to impress her, you say you like it. Someone around you hears you say you like it. Now they're reading it and they're buying it. You understand what I'm saying? How quick a virus spreads. And now the whole world is bought into one big pile of bullshit. I hear my age people say the baby boomers, all they've given us is rules, 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 rules. They haven't given us the freedom to create. They haven't given us the reins. Of, they haven't given us the captain of the ship. Just rules. Just rules. That's it. Rules. More rules. By a lot. But that the, it's so funny that we can, out of fear, completely miss the point. Evolution is change. Transformation, by its very definition, is change. Change means not the same as it is right now. How does your mind like that idea? Well, your mind really probably doesn't have an idea about it. What about the chatter in your mind? What does that say about it? These kids can't understand them. They're evil. That's not true. What's true is you're afraid to change. How could that be possible? Well, if we buy into our, if we need to diminish the intensity of life because we're too afraid to experience that in its full frontal assault, really. See, I think bliss is not a state. I think it's, I think it's coping with life. <laughs> that you feel the intensity of it all at once and you can cope with it. The bliss isn't the intensity. The bliss is, hey, I can cope with this. That's the state of bliss. It's not something that comes to us. It's something we experience when we become courageous. It's, it's, not, a, it's not a place we land. You know what I mean? I, I really hope it isn't. <laughs> I I'm actually know that it's not for me anymore. So when we need to diminish that intensity of life, when we need to have that diminished, the only way to do that is to start thinking. Not reasonable thoughts, not epiphanies, not bright spots, the chatter in the head. That energy has to go somewhere. It has to be channeled out before it impacts us quickly. Because if we face the intensity of life, it's going to impact us from the top of our head, actually way up from the top of our head, down through our feet and on beyond that. 